Hello traders, it's Samurai Trader here. Welcome to this training session, how to day trade any market, the $1,000 a day challenge. How to average $1,000 a day, net profit trading only two or three hours a day. You'll see that in most of my videos, I'm usually well and truly finished within 30 minutes to one hour maximum. Now, if $1,000 a day is not enough, you simply start trading more contracts. Now I receive a lot of uh, emails from viewers of these videos that can you use particularly for setups on Forex. They're exactly the same traders except rather than I, I have a preference for um, for um, rather than Renko on Forex I love range charts and there's very little difference but be, between them just a preference I've got but the exact same setups work on Forex now this is uh, session 79 now I always try to keep these sessions short traders but look there's a lot I want to cover and so it might be a 30 a 40 minute video but I promise you I'm going to give you some stuff today which is literally an eye-opener on really what really happens in the markets and how the markets are fractal in nature and how we use higher time frames hopefully I amaze you if I don't amaze you with a couple of things that I show you it either means you're already a very 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 profitable trader or you're already doing what I do or oh, one more thing you're not paying attention because what I'm about to show you will make a massive difference to your trading so if there is a risk in trading as we know don't trade with money that you can't afford to lose uh, and of course you can pause the recording to read the disclaimer if you wish now very very quick advertisement if you haven't already requested my ebook the truth about day trading there is a link below make sure you subscribe to my channel uh, to be kept up to date with all of my latest videos even better still become a member because what I'm about to show you and teach you for $197 you receive all of my indicators there's hundreds of hours of videos there's dozens of videos all of my indicators are free uh, and I have a special going right now where you can also attend eight of my live private group coach coaching sessions I run two two hour sessions a week uh, which are from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time where I'm teaching you the psychology of trading and how to trade step by step my setups and there's also comprehensive uh, downloadable handouts with those now if you can't attend the live sessions they are recorded now after the first month or uh, after eight sessions if you wish you can then drop me an email and say Ray I'd like to subscribe to this ongoing and so the website price I think is 197 a month but you can get it as a special but you get all of this for only $197 uh, there's nothing else like this out there end of ad let's now get into this what would be a game changer to you now I know many of you that are subscribers to my channel see that I go through this every session and the reason it's absolutely critical that when you've got a lofty goal you know the how will appear so I've got the how you do it here but you've got to have a, a why why do I want this now would five thousand dollars a week be a life changer to you well for most families it would be now first of all on this first slide so many traders set this massive goal of five hundred to a thousand dollars per day per contract is that possible absolutely and I'll show you in a moment a slide where that is possible and actually some screenshots of that however this is where so many traders go wrong that is you've got to crawl before you can walk and even then you may choose to really have a have a low bar that's so much easier of only a hundred dollars a day now on the other hand you might choose to step it up and go for three hundred dollars a day just ten lots is three thousand dollars a day how I'm going to show you and once again when we get to the chart you're going to see some live trades taken and I'll explain them in detail so okay it almost sounds like I'm making trading sound too easy or very easy well look trading is not rocket science but 
here's the scientific reason why people don't make um, uh, make it they expect first of all fast results they they you know see a couple of YouTube videos and they think yep beauty they might read one or two books and they want to do it overnight this is a 90 to 180 day internship it's not rocket science anyone can do this uh, with the right practice the screen time etc etc uh, but what happens is because you don't get the fast results you stop believing in yourself you start dwelling on your mistakes that is you've got to have what we call uh, you've got to apply what we call black box thinking what can I learn from this so there's a whole lot of reasons traders you see what I've discovered after 28 years as a day trader is until you master your mind until you master your emotions you're not going to master your trading and you know what this is the time when so many traders will stop watching this video they don't want to hear that and they're the ones of course that never make it you see if you can get better just that one percent every day and if you watch my videos become a member you're going to get one to five percent better every day but here's what it really takes to succeed it's called the Goldilocks rule and I know you see this in every second video but it's critical that is when it comes to mastering the art of day trading you don't want to have it too hard you don't want it too easy you just want it just right and that really comes down to mastering only one or two setups and building from there now in today's session I'm going to be going through the four winning trades I had uh, out of uh, out of four trades four out of four all within around 15 minutes and they were all trend following trades now initially they may not look like that but I'm going to show you something on a anchor chart why they were all trend following trades and this is what's going to make a massive difference now a lot of people say can I really make serious money going for only $100 a day well of course we got the miracle of compounding traders and so a lot of my members are hitting 100 then they're increasing it because as you hit 100 a day which is only one to two trades you're then building both your confidence and your competence now let's just say you you say if you've been struggling with the trading or you've lacking self-esteem and that's not meant to sound rude or or to pull you down here but um, start on 100 build from there now for this and as we'll see very soon you don't need 4,000 I recommend you have between three and four thousand dollars if you're trading the big country but you start on the micro make all the mistakes you're going to make on the micro contracts where you only need 350 to 400 dollars and build your account and switch over I'll quickly look at that soon but if you go for just uh, say if you've got a four thousand dollar account and you go for only one hundred dollars a day by week 30 you got the potential there of a income of around 10 grand a week 10,000 a week and your account size is nearly one hundred thousand dollars and how this table works by the way is you only start trading a second contract a third and a fourth every time you get another um, uh, four thousand dollars in your account so unlike some of the ridiculous compounding uh, tables you see out there this is reality now if you start here you can soon compound and build because by the time you've been trading uh, 10 to 20 weeks live trading following uh, the strategies and the setups etc you're starting to master uh, the discipline uh, your emotions so we'll come back to that in a moment but first of all we're going to have uh, a quick review I'll just quickly mention the trades I took in this particular session now my average target traders is $200 a day per contract okay I like to get in get out get paid I don't like to trail that is I don't like to lift my stop loss up etc and to trail the trade not saying there's anything wrong with that in fact a lot of traders make a lot of money doing that but for me I like to get in get out get the cash register ring to ring I like to get paid so my target after commissions is a thousand dollars a day as most of you are aware now in today's session we are going to go to the charts and look at these I took four trend with trend trades for four winners 
now you can look at these and say well hang on they're not with trend trades or oh, yes they are let me get to the charts soon and I'll show you on the anchor charts while why they were with trend trades but we'll come back to that very very soon because in some ways this is sort of almost the easy side of it that is the the, the setups are sort of very mechanical in their approach not 100% because you have still got to learn to recognize what um, uh, is a trend and what constitutes a trend and some of the basics but this isn't rocket science but it's about mastering your mind first and if you've got a big enough goal you can get there that is if it's compelling enough now very quickly I'm going to go through this quickly okay we won't spend a lot of time on it because I do want to get to the charts what I say to, to traders is where do you want to be financially in six months because I'm about to show you that starting on a micro with say a three to four hundred dollar account and building your account to four thousand dollars and I'll show you how to do that in a moment very realistically then you roll over and start trading the big contract so you can be trading professionally within months so let's just say here you start with a four hundred dollars a four hundred dollar account can be as low as three hundred dollars now what that means by having a lower account it means you're going to have what we call a tighter stop loss and I do need to say today we're looking at what we call a four tick Renko uh, you may not know what that is but you'll, you'll soon learn that um, now this is the after hours market and if you say trading during a highly volatile time or during the New York hours you're going to have to have a larger account okay so we're just going to talk about trading after hours but this is ideal you get home from work at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and we have what we call the Globex market is open you can start trading there which is ideal but what this means here is you start with a $400 account you're netting $20 a day within 12 weeks your account is now $4,600 and guess what you then do you, you roll over and you start trading a big contract now even if you've got four ten twenty fifty hundred thousand dollars go and invest that for a period of time cut your teeth on trading a micro you see impatience and lack of discipline is the greatest killer of traders and what actually happens is you de develop the, uh, the the wrong habits initially uh, it's so much harder to develop the right habits or to get rid of um, uh, those bad habits or where your confidence has been shaken so you go and blow your account four or five times it's so much harder to do what you've got to do that is to execute in a timely manner when you have a set uh, a trade set up now can you realistically get $20 a day well this is just three days on um, uh, the micro so see that MNQ 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 so uh, that within an hour was $63 $75 $88 now here I am traders talking to you about only $20 a day it is extremely realistic if you learn how to trade with the trend and follow the rules it ain't rocket science now when you've then got your 4,000 we then jump you over into a large contract and you can see here within 12 weeks netting $200 a day you see on the micro contracts they're 10% of the value of a big contract now what if though uh, you decide then to trade more or to inc or go for a larger target because as you'll see I hit the target very very quickly if you go back to any of my videos I'm all uh, really I can't remember the last time it was over an hour maybe an hour and a half it's been so long so you can start off going for your $200 and you'll see in a moment uh, that's uh, four what we call seven step trades or three seven step trades you'll see what that is in a moment now what if you go for $250 well here if you go for 250 a day look where you are in 10 weeks you're trading 12 lots potentially and earning 13,000 a week how do you do that four seven step scalps now 
you might do a lot less trades than that because you're trailing but as I said I'll teach you what I do and it's in and out in and out okay and last of all what if you decide to really put the time in you might be a young gun I mean I'm in my 60s okay I don't want to have to go and spend hours and hours in front of a live market um, you know I, I want to get in get out okay so here five net trades a day and look where you are then in eight weeks okay potentially 300 a day and how do I get there let's just drop it down a little bit between five and six net trades after any losses okay and once again I'll show you in a moment how we actually do this so let's just move from there so we can see here this is a true reality but start on the hundred go to 150 then go to 200 this is how you build both confidence and competence and what you can see here traders if you start with $400 based on $20 a day some of my videos I'll show um, 300 350 it just depends on your stop loss and we don't have time to get into that but you can get away with as low as $300 now in 12 weeks our account is now full six we can now switch over to the NQ uh, based on 200 a day in another 12 weeks we're up to 10,000 our account size is 46 total time taken 24 weeks so the question is where are you going to be in 24 weeks financially one thing I do want to say here and I've got a hand on heart because if you become a member um, you're going to be in my live coaching room where you can type in questions many of you will want to also join I run a live trading room uh, three mornings a week and many of you will want to end up joining that as well so I do have to declare that before you start on the micro you must master the setups on the um, on the simulator that is virtually every good trading platform now such as ninja trader for an example or even trade station many others you can trade uh, using a simulator now it's not the same as trading with real money for an example emotionally because in the end you've got to learn to trade what I call fearless money but it's a good start the number one thing is to start on the simulator so that might take you 10 10 to 15 weeks before you're comfortable okay but bottom line is in well under a year and for many of you it's going to be six months you've got a full-time day trading career now we can apply this to so many different markets because there's a lot of markets now that now have micro contracts and of course you can apply that to Forex etc so there's a lot of options where you can trade on there's even nano uh, contracts I believe on Forex so you've got the micros and the minis and um, on Forex and so that you've got lots of options now the real question here is then um, how do you do it well first of all I love to have targets okay by having a goal you know if you look if you don't have a goal you're like a ship without a rudder all right you're just floating aimlessly around so that's why I like to say okay my average trade is going to be between six and seven steps uh, I'll show you what that means in a moment we get to the charts which means after any losses I need that between three and four trades and that's fairly typical um, uh, for me how do we do that for members watching this well the course great trending two B's your 34 B's 55 89 200s they'll give you those the word is here or the great thing here over the essential let me say that is trending now let's go to the charts but as we go to the charts traders there's some critical factors what I call the fundamentals that we need to consider besides checking for red flag news and things like that every day before we start trading that is are there any major news announcements coming out we need to be checking regularly for areas of support resistance and what I call price magnets now the great thing is virtually all of these now will plot automatically on your charts there are indicators that will plot all of these your pivots your open high low and close your major EMAs there's even intraday swing indicators and I've got an indicator there for the swing high and swing low of day sorry the current days high and low now why are these important well so many of us 
trade into these levels professionals use these levels as price magnets and also support resistance levels and reversal points they're quite easy to learn that is they're not rocket science is straightforward but they also are predictive indicators now some traders are going to be looking at this and saying 89 and 200 EMAs they're not they're, they're you know they're lagging they're lagging in the true sense of a word however they're also price magnets and support resistance areas and so what I should have also said traders the sign of an intelligent person is how open they are to new ideas that is there are a lot of jaded um, uh, traders watch my videos and of course many others oh you can never do this you can never do that or oh, that won't work well how do you know you've already closed your mind and by the way you're probably not a, a good fit for learning my strategies because so many traders they just want to blame everyone the fact is though I'm about to show you here like the 89 probably the two of the most important indicators you could ever trade with and they're simple so let's have a look at this and I know I grate some people because a lot of people I just don't want to hear the truth so let's have a look at this so let's go to the charts here and what I should do is also just minimize this straight it's just so it's out of the way what I'm going to do here is just I'm going to go from the right hand side you know I've I know that further along we've got my trades and I, I can't remember what happens next this is a couple of days ago I'm doing this recording from a few days ago now the white um, paint bar by the way that's what we call uh, my super scalper see that uh, lime colored that's the high of day this is a 200 EMA and this is what I call an entry chart now I, I love using the MACD for confirming divergence and uh, a long-term stochastic and a short-term stochastic which is these two indicators here now for pure price action traders you can roll your nose up as much as you like okay yes we could remove some of these EMAs and you uh, could get rid of one or two of these indicators but I like to use them as added confirmation okay all right so from the right hand side whenever we see price pulling back like this what can we see we're now setting up a new lower low and this is one of the discoveries I've made um, uh, some years ago now is that by I found a formula of well, let me call it a formula of where I apply anchor charts and that is I've got anchor charts um, an anchor chart is a higher time frame we want to uh, trade in the direction of so with my entry chart this is where I place all of my trades but when I've got I call this a 200 EMA overshoot see how it's shooting past the 200 look over here on my anchor chart one and I'm bouncing off the 89 see that just there this is a trade every day of the week and you see it multiple times for those that know what divergence is we've also got fantastic divergence so I've got an 89b I've got divergence yippity doo we're in this trade now remember I said we want uh, six or seven steps each one of these here is called I call them a step irrespective of the time frame so this is by the way at um, 30 minutes past the uh, midnight on Central Standard Time we could go back a few hours and do exactly the same thing it's this is ideal for me because this is around 5 p.m. my time down under in Australia I used to live in Santa Monica by the way but I'm back here in Australia but um, so this is a great time for me to trade later in the day I've been to the gym I've done my coaching sessions with my clients etc uh, so if I was trading say closer to the London Open which is in three hours I would probably increase that to a six tick okay so the four tick during the New York hours is near impossible but what this um, uh, means here is each one of these steps I call them steps you're stepping up is worth ten dollars or two ticks so a four tick Renko means that from the height of a low of those uh, green bricks is it that's what Renko means it's four ticks but each one is 
worth ten dollars so where I say I'm after seven steps let's just say I got in here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten that let's just call it quits there that's one hundred dollars now I want you to remember what was our overall goal two hundred dollars a day so if you trail how far does this actually go let's just find out before I say too much okay went up a wee bit higher okay so that was a successful trade so I want you to listen very carefully here because I'm going to describe step by step and sorry I'm just going to turn off all these other got the ES charts here are moving all over the place and I've got oil up here and they're moving along with that one so it's annoying let me just move this little cursor thing out the way there we go all right so as we come up so we're going to talk about whoops and I scrolled along there so as we come up we can see here that we're in an uptrend I made a new lower low I've made a new higher high it's high from that point and look over here um, uh, I can see the 89 EMAs in an uptrend and this is important so just on the screens by the way I have um, six screens but if you've got two screens you have uh, your entry chart expanded like this and an anchor chart one taking up two-thirds of a screen and your anchor chart two but there's some little tricks that I can show you well I won't show you here if you just have one screen but ideally you want to have two screens by the way and I'll stop moving forward because it's telling me what's in front of us but as we pull back down here traders I'm looking for a bounce now look on the right hand side there so there's my super scalper I want to see the super scalper there and see on the right there I'm bouncing off the 89 EMA now one thing I've failed to do is to is to scroll down here and once again we've got the day's high up here now why is that important the high and the low of day and your pivots like this is the current days open just here they become what we call price magnets okay price loves to go back up and retest those levels so let's just see so if we got in now let's just say from here okay so a 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 whoops not 70 uh, now I'm at 70 now before I go any further one thing I do want to say whenever we take a trade we want to tuck our stop loss just below the little swing and we also look at if we want to go for larger targets where's our last swing high it's this one up here so that makes it a great potential target now you might go for uh, you might what we call front run front running is where we get out a bit before then or like me I've got my 70 step sorry $70 per contract just there uh, so now that's eight and that's nearly not and look at that see how we nearly hit that well we did actually hit the high to the tick we this happens every day there's no fluke in that just happens every day now what are we now looking for we're now in an uptrend let's look for a retracement we want the super scalper here we've got now the super scalper is not confirmed until the third candle if we do, were to expand the chart on the right hand side you could see that we're still in a very definite uptrend so uh, let's just say we get in now let's be conservative one two three four five six uh, <laughs> here is the high seven uh, I'm going to be out now now there we just went up a little higher than seven steps okay now by the way that is three seven step trades that I remember what I showed you on the $200 a day you could be finished with the trading right now so let's keep going so let's because I want to catch up with the actual trades I whoops sorry wrong way I meant to be scrolling so what is also very important when you're mastering or learning how to day trade you've got to go from the right hand side because anyone can look back and say oh yeah that was a two or a three B that's a two B that's a, that's a two B 
you've got to watch the structure on the side these are patterns and your instruments your indicators identify these patterns for you so we've now got another entry just here so let's go for this I'm after my seven steps one two three four five six seven nearly eight steps we're now at a high thank you very much so let's now look for a pullback aha all right so now I'm getting a lot of what we call divergence here now I don't want to talk too much about divergence in the room uh, just in this video here now divergence is where you're making in this case higher highs I've got a little double top what I call a t7 just there uh, I've got uh, on the right there it's very subtle but on the anchor chart one that is divergent this is by the way my MACD here is what we call a platinum or a zero lag MACD so it's very very moves very very quickly okay now I trade divergence most of you are very aware of that I wasn't trading here but this is one I'd take every day of the week so so as we come down by the way this is where I'm usually expecting a bounce no I'm not going to get uh, now we're getting the bounce now this is now and I can see down here we're about to get a setup okay this is the setups because I put a description of what they were this is where it's also getting very interesting uh, for a potential reversal in the market we've now made a new lower low from that point and that point this is a new lower low the footprints to a trend traders are when we make new lower lows and we get a new lower high now what will usually happen is these are our EMAs we call this a fanning of the EMAs then they start to roll over and this is where then we want to short the market when we get a signal we don't have one yet but as we pull up to these levels guess what we're generally expecting okay usually you'll find a lot of resistance up there at that level every day you get that resistance traders um, one other thing I want to say about with every trade you take with every single trade you take you always have to say do I have blue skies ahead and what I mean by that what's in front of your trade and what we can see like over here we had the day's high now here in taking this short trade I want you to um, uh, and let me pause this Nick just while well, I won't pause the video but I just want to show you this on our anchor chart the higher time frame we're still in a definite uptrend so if we take this trade we're probably going to bounce down here okay so if you take this trade expect the bounce it's very easy trade to take it's what we call a 2b uh, for members watching oh, look not it's not a t20-1 but it's a 2b you want to be expecting the bounce down here off for 200 on your high time frame now it may not bounce it could go straight through it but there's a, a really good chance you bounce so what it means is if you take these trades get ready for the bounce on your anchor chart and that's where then it becomes what we call a 3b now this is called a 200 EMA overshoot there's my 200 I'm now shooting past this and as I come down I've now got the bounce and surprise surprise what are we bouncing off so this was the first trade I took remember I said I took four winning trend trades many traders look at that and say this ain't a trend trade oh yes it is we're trading in the direction of the higher time frame and so I was out just up here now we could take a trade just here by the way okay you could have taken this one and do you know where you'd expect to bounce again back down here so I'd prefer to give this one a miss and let's continue to trade in the direction of the trend so coming down here I then had a, another trade just there now this here for members watching this one here was not quite a 3b but it was, it was a t10 
now uh, for those that are not members watching this this is a long-term stochastic and a short-term stochastic so a t2 and a t10 there are two core setups that we trade using these two indicators very mechanical but they work really really well okay so we're in this trade thank you very much now let's not forget what's in front of us nothing I can't see anything there except way up here now up there I entered there one two three four five six so it looks like I was out with only six steps there and I was too I was out uh, uh, with that so now I've got what we call a t20-1 setting up just there see the arrow there see the arrow there one of the little trade secrets I'm not going to give away but uh, when you discover what it is aha uh -huh, that makes sense so just there and just there they're called t20s okay so and when I get a first trade that pulls back like I had one there remember I said oh no it's too late but see that one there that's a t20 just there this is a t20-1 t that's a t20 yes you can usually trade them as well but I, I prefer to wait for the second move and then you've got this one here thank you very much in we go oh where's your stop loss by the way one tick below one tick below one tick below and you can see there that come down and tested you to the tick if we weren't in that trade you actually then had one set up there anyway so we're in so up we go so up we go again and out thank you very much so I'm just seeing where that high is because that does make a big difference remember you always want to be looking back at where your high is because if you want to go for a larger target now's the time to do it now we've rallied up all of these which with trend trades we're trading in the direction of both the anchor chart one trend and the entry chart so let's wait for a retracement again now this is what you call a fanning of the EMAs they're fanning apart so guess where I expect to get a bounce how do I know because you get get them every day notice price pull back to the confluence of EMAs price pull back to the confluence of EMAs price pull back guess what I'm expecting to happen just here price pulls back and there it is right there thank you very much and up we go and we now this was actually a bit of an error I could have we really should have increased my target a wee bit um, gone for a larger target here because when you're rallying up to a high like that um, pretty good chance how did this go now we got there pretty good chance you're going to go up there and hit it okay so um, if ever you've got a major area of resistance or support in front of you uh, you really want to um, uh, set up a, a large target because you'll hit them all the time now we'll just do a couple more minutes of this here well in this particular case I'd finish so now I've got a bounce off the high guess what I'm looking for here another trend trade okay so look at the steepness here of your EMAs um, uh, I've got a beautiful uptrend so I'm going to look for a bounce somewhere down here so as we pull back wait for the super scalper here we go now we've now got this is actually called what we call uh, let me just confirm that uh, that's uh, no no it's only it's a 34th it's not quite a 2b but anyway let's take that trade we'll bell bounced off the top oops and through we go just see just go a little bit longer okay now for members watching this can you tell what is setting up you've got a t3 setting up now traders don't be deceived by this large quick move now that was it's two, over two minutes thus far I still don't have a trade entry we're coming up we're coming up and I now have a oh, if I was still trading that's what we call a t3 also known as a rubber band trade um, uh, 
uh, and you don't need divergence for these so it's one of the very few reversal trades where you don't need divergence now uh, if you're after for members watching this if you're after a t10 we'll see if we get a t10 and where is our ultimate target so our ultimate target is back to the 89 EMA now remember each one of these steps is so I've we just romped past our target Have we had a losing trade yet can't remember don't think so if we were trading every mechanical setup so if you're a brand new trader forget your t3s initially forget anything to do a reversal or divergence initially we do have some divergence here F stay focused initially on trading with the trend much easier to learn the trend okay um, but you'll start this is called angulation by the way that's what you call that angulation something of the late Bill Williams I uh, used to teach um, in his book uh, profitunity and trading chaos that's where I picked it up um, 25 years ago was angulation um, where there's a, a reaction there's an opposite and equal reaction said Newton not always but usually is let's just see where this goes big deep pullback now here you wish you were trailing by the way <laughs> right so if we were coming down now this is over another two or three minutes by the way so plenty of time now as you're coming down of a the 200 I was about to say expect a bounce how big a bounce it's going to fall again okay down we come okay now as we're falling where's our let's see are we going to bounce again down here at the 200 uh, let's just see where this goes and by the way what we've got is some beautiful divergence now here and here haven't quite hit the 200 but this is a trade I also would take every day of week okay um, let's just see are we trending and this will be the last one I want to explain we're still in an uptrend just could be aware will we get a reverse here soon we'll just check that but let's just say we take this this is a 200 overshoot beautiful divergence beautiful divergence guess where my targets going to be see how our EMAs have rolled over again remember that reversal earlier this is where you've got to watch where you get a bounce let's just see where we go from there beautiful okay we get a bounce now we're going to finish up on this one just a couple more things I want to explain okay when you get large moves like this and see how we then bounce around okay this is where then you'll quite often go into an extended period of consolidation traders see how flat our 89 is see how other EMAs are all flat I want you to remember flat EMAs are evil <laughs> They really are okay you want to see a fanning of the EMAs that is just so important so traders what we saw there was um, uh, some very very profitable trades but all of those were trading with the trend because we were bouncing off either major EMAs on the higher time frame or on for lower time frame so traders come and join me let me teach you how did they trade the right way the first time uh, you might want to trade higher time frames slower markets you might be based in Europe want to trade the European markets fantastic by the way the London session is is great and uh, for, um, leading up to that if you're in the US where most of my members are uh, you can start trading of course you can trade 20 by the way you can trade the, the futures markets 23 hours a day Forex 24 hours a day both of them five days a week so for $197 you get the works you can click on the link below to join but make sure you get my ebooks um, also you know that uh, did I show you the spreadsheet I don't think I did that there's a spreadsheet there that up there that I do these calculations on you can also click on the link below to get hold of that but better still learn how to day trade the right the right way the first time come and join me right traders thank you very much and um, uh, I'll see you on the next video